I'm David Learmount, Operations and Safety Editor at Flight Global. I've reviewed World Airlines safety performance for Flight International every year for the last 30 years or more. Last year, 2013, was a good year, but not as good as 2012, which was exceptional. In fact, in January last year, we predicted that the airlines wouldn't be able to maintain that standard for 2013, and we were right. But a year is a short time, and 2013 was still a good year when seen in the context of continually improving airline safety performance every decade since aviation began. The parameter we use to judge airline safety performance is to measure the number of accidents in which fatalities occur. There were 26 fatal accidents last year compared with only 21 in 2012. But that's not the whole story. 2013 smashed the record for the lowest number of fatal casualties. There were only 281 worldwide compared with 425 in 2012, which was itself a record. Of course, that's good, but it's more a tribute to the survivability built into today's hulls than a tribute to the airlines that fly them. In our review of global airline safety performance for 2013, we don't only look at the upfront statistics. We also look at what kind of accidents are still happening in today's safer world. And we ask why these crashes still have to happen at all.